before we start our tutorial how to make mass import, I want to notice you on one common mistake which we see very often. Don't import too much tags, categories and attributes. WooCommerce can work fast with big amount of products, but too much taxonomies make site very slow. There are several possible affiliate sites which you can do. In most cases, there are two basic difference. Deal site when each post item has separate one offer. And price comparison sites when each product has several offers from different merchants. For deal sites, we recommend importing your offers to posts. Such sites will be faster and more easy for setup. Let's start. First of all, install import WordPress add-on. You can find it in plugin section of theme. Don't forget that you must register license of theme to get access for all bonus plugins. To import deals or coupons, you need to install import plugin and rehub add-on. Install also WooCommerce add-on if you want to import price comparison or WooCommerce products. Now, go to Tools and create new importer. Add any name and choose posts as place to import. On next step you must specify source for import. In our video we will use local file, but in most cases you will use external location. You can get link to product feed from affiliate network which you will use on site. External live link is also better if you want to enable automatic price updates. Most of feeds have simple structure with keys and values. Supported file formats are XML and CSV. If file is correct, you will see table where each row has key and value. Go to next step where we need to map keys from product feed and fields of WordPress. For this, simply click to select data and choose line which you want to map in field. You don't need to fill all fields of WordPress and feed. The only one required field for WordPress is title. The only one required field for offers is offer link. In taxonomy section you can set categories. Some feeds have hierarchical structure of categories and this is made via special symbols which you can select as hierarchy divider. Next field is featured image which you can enable in attachments. As we import from external link, all settings will be as default. But you can also import local files or files which are loaded by FTP. By the way, you can also use external link as featured image or store logo, we will describe this later in this video. Now, let's move to offer fields. Link is required field, so, drop it in importer. By the way, you can enable and disable any fields. Let's add also coupons and prices. Please, note, posts have no real currencies and prices, because posts are made for deals and coupons, so, prices are just text fields. Make sure that your prices have currency symbol, you can add it directly to field mapper. Also, you can see preview of each field when you add it or choose it. Your coupons and deals can have expiration date. WordPress uses dates in universal format which has hyphen divider and have something like month, hyphen, day, hyphen, year format. 
If you have another format, you need to add also date converter field and choose format of your date field. Capital Y letter means full year, small y letter means that year has only last number. H symbol means hours. If you have another format, please, write to our support and we will add it to plugin. You can also enable option to mask coupons. By default, all coupons are visible on site and can be copied. You can enable option to hide them, user must click on button to see pop-up. Destination link will be opened in background, this will let you get commission from such clicks even if user close your site after coupon will be copied. Offers have many optional fields. Mostly you don't need to use them but they can be very useful in some scenarios. For example, description field allow you to add custom description to offer. Button field allows you to add custom text on button. This can be helpful if you want to add store name directly in button text. Also, you can change global text of buttons in theme option, localization. We also recommend to choose your price pattern in theme options. Next field is disclaimer. This field is used in some post loop layouts, for example in deal list. If you don't know how to change default post layout for archive and categories, you can do this in theme option, general section. Cashback notice field is similar to disclaimer and visible only on some post layouts, for example on deal grid and deal list. Next fields are discount tag and offer thumbnail. These fields are used when you want to replace your featured image. For example, many coupon feeds don't have any images, so, you can set discount tag which will be visible instead image in deal post layouts. Let's see how it works. We remove image of post and set discount tag. Thumbnail field allows you to use external links as featured image. This allows to save space on your hosting but in the same time it can slow down site because you can't optimize external images. If you want to use this option, you must install also our special add-on. Go to support tab of theme and type, brand logo, click to search in documentation. This will open page with add-on. Download and install it as plugin. After this, plugin will check if your post has featured thumbnail. If you don't have it, offer thumbnail link will be used. If you don't have offer thumbnail, plugin will check assigned store and store logo. Next field is Merchant Logo, it allows to overwrite logo of store which is assigned to post. T 
And last important field is post layout. If you add offer to post and open it on site, you will see that nothing changed in post. It's because default post layout is simple and it shows only text and title. If you want to turn post layout to deal layouts, you must enable special post layouts which are made for deals. Try different post layouts to see which one is better for you. Please, note, if all your posts have offers, it's better to set global post layout in theme option instead of setting it in import. In this way, you can easily change it later in options. Before we import our feed, you must add one most important field. It's post status. By default, WordPress post status is draft, so, if you want to publish your posts after import, enable post status in import. Plugin will automatically detect duplicates based on your titles. But if you want to use any other field to detect duplicates, add ID field. This option can be used also if you want to merge different feeds from different providers. If several items have the same ID field, plugin will publish only one item. Now, it's time to go to next step. Here we set what we want to do with items. Publish them, update or delete. In most cases you need to set only publish new posts with all fields and update existed posts. If you don't have too much items in feed, you can keep to update all fields. But if you want to update only prices, you can tell plugin fields of prices. You can find them in documentation. Or just simply set special pattern like asterisks, underscore, price. On last step you can choose schedule importing. If you use live link on first step, you can choose to update feed by schedule. Don't set it too often because your server can be overloaded. Once a day or once a week is good enough. Everything is working as expected, we have offers with buttons, coupons, expiration date. You can find that all deal and coupon sites have special store pages. Rehub theme also has special function to enable and import affiliate stores. First of all, you must enable this option in theme options and resave permalinks in settings, permalinks. Then, you need to import stores. For this, create new importer and choose to import terms, choose, deal store, to import affiliate stores or, store, to import brands if you use WooCommerce.
If your feed has store logos, you can use the same feed as for posts, plugin will detect stores and post them. Affiliate Store Taxonomy has many additional fields, you can find them when you edit or create store in admin panel. The same fields are also available as import fields. As example, we added also store logos to our feed to show you how it works. Now, you can assign your posts to affiliate stores. You can do this when you make import for posts or when you update posts. Anyway, it's better to import stores first, then, import posts. To assign posts to stores, you must enable additional taxonomy row and choose their affiliate store. To make price comparison products from feed, you need to install three plugins. First is WooCommerce. It's free plugin. Second is Content Egg. You can use pro version or free version. If you don't have free version, go to Rehub, plugin section and activate Content Egg free. Third plugin is product add-on for import. Download and install it. After this, go to settings of content egg and enable offer module, also enable it for WooCommerce integration. Now, go to Import Plugin and create new importer. Choose WooCommerce Products and Importer. All next steps are pretty similar to what we did for post offers. The only one very important difference for price comparison is that your feed must have some common field for all offers which you want to group in one product. Now, start to map all fields like we did early. You can keep description fields and price fields as empty.
Now, most important part is to set our common field. It must be added in inventory sections. There are many other optional fields, all of them are equivalents of WooCommerce sections when you edit your product in Admin Panel. We will use only Taxonomy here to add Product Category, an attachment to add Featured Image, Now, to add offer data, use content egg section instead Rehub fields. They are very similar except few options. First of all, price fields should be set without currency. And you must choose currency as separate option. Currency must be an ISO format. Domain and merchant logo are generated automatically by plugin and they are based on offer link. But in very common scenario, your offer link will have some redirect or short links from affiliate network. And logo will show affiliate network icon instead merchant logo. In this case, we recommend to use merchant logo field. Deep link is part of your link which is responsible for tracking. Unfortunately, product feeds usually don't have separate original links of products. You can read more about deep links in documentation of plugin. Last option is period for offer deletion. Use this field if you want to refresh not only prices, but also all offers in products and delete offers which are not available in your feeds. Set period of days which will be used to keep your offers. If you update products after this period of time, plugin will delete existing offers of product and add new ones. Last step is to set product layout. First of all, enable external product type. You can do this in first section. Now, scroll down to Rehub fields and find product layout field. Each product can have own product layout. Theme has several product layouts which are made special for price comparison. You can set it for each product or globally in theme options. If all your products are for price comparison, we recommend to use theme options to set global product layout. When you finish with your settings, click to save them and make import. Make sure that you enabled update option.
As you see, all our offers were merged into one product as price comparison. If you don't like existed layouts for price comparison, you can also build your own layout with short codes of plugin and code areas of theme. As example, I copy short code from plugins short code section. Then I change product layout to extended style and place short code to custom button area. And I have totally new look of product. I can use also statistic short code inside content area if I don't have product content. This way is also possible to use per each importer because products have code area fields. You can find more useful add-ins and some documentation on site importwp.com. There are some useful free add-ins like CO by Yoast and Advanced Custom Fields add-in. Also, you can find some solutions for possible errors like permission error. Good luck and see you in next video.